Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Stone Hearth, where today we are going to finish up the wall because I did play around with the gate and I now know how to make wall sections. So I set this up to get built, so we're going to let that get built. We do need a little more stone, so it is going to take a little bit for us to get that and haul it over. I do kind of want to put a door there, but at the same time, I don't know. But we do have a lot of people in the mine working on getting more stone. So let's actually hit this up to max speed because... Does that mean like we have a couple people? Oh yeah, we have a couple people who are... Okay, let's pause it real quick and see why things have not been turning out like they had hoped. So you... Had an unpleasant talk. And so they do need the kitchen here soon. Okay, well, we'll get the kitchen here right after you guys get the gate. If you guys could get the gate at least up, then I'll be happy. And we have a lot of people just hauling stuff right now. I do have them working a lot in the mine, so, so that we can get a lot of stone, but... And that might actually be where most of our workers are at the moment. Yeah, that's pretty much where they are. <laughs> They're just mining up all the stone. We're getting a lot of iron though, which is not very good because we need the stone. There's a coal vein right there. And they should be done with that. And this should not go very much deeper. So they should be hauling everything. I did set that up to be built, right? Yeah, come on. There we go. Okay, now it's being built. Okay, that was weird because I thought I had set it up to be built before I had started the episode, but guess not. <laughs> but... Let's let them get that in. They're getting the foundation all cut out very nicely and very quickly. They're bringing some stone up there, which I don't understand why, because stone is needed down here. So. Okay, let's pull that back up to the 84 so we can see this going up. Oh, very nice. Just from walking around. <laughs> they do have the hammers now, though. Which is nice, because that means they'll be doing a lot more damage. So. But, everything's going up nicely. Oh dear, that's right. I didn't plan for any doors, so I hope no one is inside when it's closed up. Otherwise, I'm going to have to add a door. And that will really be the problem with this structure. Maybe I should have left these walls open. Maybe not on this section. On the rest of the wall, I have an idea on how to build that. On the rest of the wall, we'll leave it open. So. Hmm. Okay, they're getting everything up, it looks like. Very nicely. It is going to take a little bit. And he just dropped a bunch of stuff over there. <laughs> a trader approaches the town. Three curtains. I don't want any curtains. Okay, but we do have plenty of food now, so that's a good thing. 
But we do need a cook here. <laughs> we really do need a cook here. So let's see. We can make the cook. Do we need one of these? What are you missing? Oh, stone. Yeah, they're kind of using all the stone for this structure at the moment. So that is understandable. I do want this up, though, as a proof of concept kind of thing. So if they could get it up, that would be nice. Hmm. And this is the fastest I can make it go. I can't make it go any faster. So unfortunately... Ooh, why was it exclamationed? But yeah, let's just hope no one's inside the structure when they close it up. Oh, and what is your problem? Yes, what is your problem? Out of stone. Like, completely? Like, there's not even any in here? That's what it looks like. <laughs> okay, we need another section dug out. In fact, we'll have another couple sections dug out. And we need a lot more stone, too, because we. how are we going to build the kitchen if we don't have stone? any stone, so. Ah, there's some stone. And he's immediately going to build it. Or build it as much as he can. And yeah, as the stone drops, they're just picking up and trying to build the structure more with it, which is actually pretty inefficient. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We'll plan out the kitchen while they're doing this. We won't build it yet, but we'll definitely plan it out. Okay, so... Let's get some floor. Two away from that. So... And you guys were the lava volcano flooring. So one, two, one, two, three... Four, one, two. Yay, new person. John Framer? John Framer, what are you good at? You're a passionate trapper, so we need to make you a trapper. Okay, that's fine. So I think I'll have two doors on the kitchen and that would be where these floors or where the road comes in so one two three four one two and the wall so we want it along here let me just pull this out hmm Where are these invaders? Ah, over here. Oh, just one. Just a gronkle. <laughs> okay, so this is six wide. Going the full length. I think we want it a little bit longer. F by five more on each side, I think would be fine. That would mean that there's plenty of room for... for seats. Ah, uh, sure. Welcome, my lady. Diana, the first lady of the Ascendancy. And in whose Dimenis? 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 You... 
settle. Uh, the blessing of the church of plenty and whose wisdoms I'll proffer. Wow, a proclamation. All summits that attain local renown were hereby recognized. Township, rights, privileges, rewards, therefore rewards. Indeed, by the princess order, to eligible towns have proven their worth shall win access to architectural learning and wealthier caravans for trade. Um, I like going crafters. The royal craftsman honor. Mason's ho. To you. Excellent. In addition to an appropriate monument, your town will also need to have accumulated a certain level of worth. Shall leave the requirements. Okay. Farewell. Okay. Quest for township. Okay, let's continue building this. They're working on that. Actually, let's pause it for a second. Ensure that they still have more to mine so that they can get more stone if need be. They can. So, let's continue with this and let them continue with that. So, the kitchen... Okay, the middle's right here. We'll have the kitchen two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's, yeah, 10 for the walls wide. We'll make it eight deep. A simple merchant. Padded vest. Yes, let's buy all of those. Sell. Do we have anything fancy to sell? No. No, we don't. Okay, that's fine, though. Ooh, the mason made a sign. <laughs> Which I should not be surprised at. I think I told him to do this, so. Okay, let's make the walls. I do believe the walls were... color were the walls? <laughs> oh gosh. That's a problem. And then I do want a wall in side. Oh no, no, no. Undo. Want the same color. Or do we erase it? Oh, don't tell me I... I have to redo my entire thing. Delete, delete, delete. Can I just, you know, change the color of you? Okay, I guess there's going to be a brown or a dark wall in there because I can't undo it for some reason. I can't even erase it. Erase tool. Yes. Undo. I can't undo anything. <sighs> okay, well. Big stone tunnel doors. <laughs> that would actually look pretty funny. I'm going to do that. Now, these are going to be a little off-center from the path, but... Because we have it on both sides, we can make it even, which was what was going to bother me so much. Windows. It's actually a very small dining hall now that I look at it. Hmm. Let's get the tables and chairs in real quick. So... We had a table right there. And we would add chairs like so and like so. And we had a if we had a table right there and then had chairs like so and like so. That's four people. Daily update. We have enough food and wealth. We got a new person. Lorne. 
Edessa? Hmm. Okay. So yes, the dining hall is going to be a little cramped. I did not plan out an, uh, ac an accurate size for this, but we are going to go with it. So... Right there, and then more chairs. And they should be able to get around this just fine. Like they should be able to get be able to get through here just fine, because I did leave one space to be able to move through that. So we could put one more right there. It's a very cramped dining hall. <laughs> Okay, and then I want storage boxes over here for all of the food. You know what? Never mind. No. Ah, remove. Remove this building. Never mind. That was just a little too cramped. That's going to bother me. That. That's so small. They almost are done with this, though. Oh, dear. I think somebody's stuck inside. Um, can we get a door on this? Can we edit it? Or a big window? I don't think we can. Oh, gosh. Okay. Can, no, so we can't. What about one of the walls over here? Yeah, we have we have people stuck inside. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to tear it down. Remove remove this building. There we go. We got we have people that are free. Oh dear. Uh copy to clipboard. Close. Okay, so we had that saved, so and we do need to edit it, obviously. So let's just build the kitchen. <laughs> but first, let's build the road out so it's a little bit easier to see where we need to put the kitchen. So, one, two, three, four. Right, that looks right. All the way up to there, and then down like that. Oops. Yes, finish editing, build. Yes, start building. Okay, so yeah, we had people getting stuck in there, so we couldn't do that. So we need to edit the structure so that there's a door in it. And I think what we'll do with the walls is that we'll throw I think we'll make them eight wide and we'll throw a door in it in the first one on either side. That way if they get stuck, they can just walk around to the door and leave. So now that we have that done though, let's pause it real quick. Let's get this kitchen in. Okay, so we want a nice spacious eating area, so 10. And we'll put four on either side rather this time. With a nice, and I think we're, I'm just gonna leave it open this time because that was stupid. Like that. Then we want these colored walls. We want doors right there and right there. Probably a couple of the wide windows. 
low enough for them to look out when they're sitting. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I think we'll do that. But let's actually get the chair tables and chairs in first to see where they'll be sitting. Hmm. If the camera would not move quite so fast. Just like that. And then a chair up here. Hmm. Then a lonely table? <laughs> table for one. In case there's anybody who really does not want to really sit with anyone. And that's a little too close to the door. I do want right here to have... Maybe just right down the middle we'll have just crates. That way they just walk to the middle, grab it out, and go. While the cook can just go, go to other side. Or either side, I mean. So let's have crates in here. Actually, let's have stone crates. Because these hold so much more. And then one from the front right there. And we'll get those building here in a second. But with those down, we can kind of see where we can put the another table. So just like that. That can have... Because they eat at the same time, so it's a little ridiculous with how many people there are. So that is... Six, seven people on one side. I like that. I'm okay with that. People are going to have to go right behind these people. To get food out of the chest. And we can kind of line it up without needing the tables in. So just like that. Let's get a table in right here. Oops. And all the others? Nope, this one was that direction too. The others, though, were horizontal like this. So that's a total of 14 people that could eat in here with no problem. Okay, so let's get these windows in now. I think just like that. A lot of these very large windows And just at eye level when you're sitting down. Yeah, I like that. And then... I kind of like the idea of continuing that idea. <laughs> Where it's just really low windows throughout there. Hmm... Then this is even, so we're going to have to use an even number. So just like that. And that will be our kitchen. I like it. Oh, uh, maybe I should put a roof on it and get it starting to build. Not crenellations. And I actually do like how that looks. Overhang. Yeah, everything's good. Okay. Okay. So, toss that on. We'll probably get a ladder on this side. But for now, I think that is pretty good. So, finish editing. We will save this as the hall. And build. 
yeah, we're missing the stone chest, which I gotta get the mason working on. Where are the stone chests? Maintain two, please. And go. And everybody gets onto that immediately, which is beautiful. How many people do we have now? 11. Invaders approaching. Um. Where are the guards? Pause. How do I... You guys. Run up here. Um. Attack move. And go. Uh, citizens, try not to injure yourselves in fighting. And cancel attack. Okay, and everybody goes back to digging out the dining hall. And there's actually a lot of stone there for them to build the, the floors with, which is good. So, there's a lot of iron there too. Oh, silver, copper, silver. That's a lot of silver. Holy cow. And we do have stone chests being made as there's one right there. Yeah, I know, little guy. Give me a second. Who was it that made the... You maintain a spoon. A potter's cutter. We need clay for that. Which I think we dig in the dirt for. Hmm. Which... I'm not sure how I want to do... Whoa. Oh, hey, space. <laughs> we should have a lake or two. Yeah, here they are. Okay. Yeah, that we would dig in the dirt. This might be an encampment. Because it's all dug out right there. Which is fine, because that's not on our level. Which means that they can't bother us. In fact, I was thinking making stairs on the sides... So that anybody up here that wants to attack the town would actually run all the way around to the front door. <laughs> that would be amusing. Daily update. We have the food. Not quite the wealth. So, okay. But we have people actually using the dining hall already. Even though it's not finished yet. <laughs> okay, back to work, people. <laughs> So, getting up the, the top built out pretty well. We should have the stone. Let's pull this up. Yeah, we have 12 more stone. And not even everything has been dug out down here. Although there's a lot of coal down, down there. Hmm. Four, five, so one, two, three, four, five, so one, two, three, four, five. So we'll just pull this out. And how long is this usually? Twenty eight. Okay. So massive dig order. Just in their spare time, or if we run out of stone. Back up to 84. Okay, they're building up that wall very nicely, although I do believe we're probably running, starting to run a little short on stone. So, I could imagine. Okay, all we need is this wall now. Oh, and this one. <laughs> and there they go. 
Oh, come on, almost. And I think that's high enough for them to put the roof on. Um, what are they doing in there? Why is there little pieces right there? Survivalist, stop by to show off the wars. Sell. Ooh, four good chairs? Interesting. Well, I would imagine he is trying to build chairs like crazy, so I would imagine getting four good ones. But that was the alarm. That is the timer, That meaning that that is the end of the episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We will get the cook up and running in the next episode for sure, as well as probably start on the gate, uh, the main gate. But for now, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please do leave a like if you enjoyed, to, as it does help the channel, and do subscribe to catch the next episode as it comes out. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And check out the description below to see how you can help support the channel, and or catch me when I live stream, which I'm not doing a lot of right now, so don't get your hopes up too, too much at the moment. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.